Live from the Jersey Shore to the world. Get up, get out, do something. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. Take the show wherever you go. Download the free Radio Pup app for your smartphone or tablet. Join the conversation, 732-505-1160. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Listen online at WOBMAM.com. Hey, welcome back. 608, Friday, June 17, 64 degrees. Got up to 73 today. WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. News Talk Radio, 732-505-1160 to join the conversation. We, of course, are streaming on the Radio Pup app and WOBMAM.com. Our conversation now turns to uh, the Parrot Head Club and Friends Helping Friends, a uh, like chocolate and peanut butter, two great tastes that taste great together. Uh, so we have with us uh, Denise Bruschi and uh, Leon Mawadia. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. And so, uh, first of all, let's... Let's I listen, I'm not going to lie. I don't want to I don't want to pretend that I'm super knowledgeable. So, Denise, can you explain to me what is the Parrot Head Club? OK, um, the Parrot Head Club is Jimmy Buffett, Margaritaville lifestyle. And years ago, this lovely gentleman decided that he was wanted to start a fan club. But Jimmy Buffett would absolutely not have it. He did not want people idolizing him. What he wanted was for us to follow his philosophy by giving back to the environment and the community through, uh, how can I put this, um, through charitable work. Okay. We do a lot of charitable work. We party with a purpose. Right. Party with a purpose. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Okay. I like that. I like that. Partying with a purpose. I party with a purpose too, but usually it's just so I get a really good night's sleep after my wife puts me to bed. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's anyway, uh, but I digress. Uh, so, so, so that's what the Parrot Head Club is, yes. right? 121 members strong. Yes. Okay. Uh, and you are the vice president of that organization. I am. So that's very cool. And so you guys have built a partnership with uh, Friends Helping Friends. So Leon, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, what Friends Helping Friends is all about. Ours isn't as colorful as uh, right. the Parrot Head Club, and we didn't bring you a, a, a lay to wear. That's but, okay. But we're good to go. It's okay. It's radio. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, so we started the organization uh, eight years ago to help out a couple of friends that were battling cancer, medical bills, mounting medical bills, and everything that goes along with it. Um, we've raised over $500,000 in eight years. 3,000 individual people, have, you know, different people have come to our events. And um, we've just been we've been going strong for eight years now. So this partnership, you know, came about this year, and it's been a great way to kind of diversify our organization a little bit. And so, how do you decide? Uh, how do you? <laughs> just so you know, every time you touch the microphone, <laughs> it sounds it. like we just fell out of an airplane. And so it gets uh, but that's in all your right. ear. That's all right. Uh, so so. <laughs> So, uh, what? How do you decide who you're? You know, who is right. who you're going to help at, at that particular time? It's it's amazing. Usually, it comes from friends. So, I mean, the the name really made you know, after the first year we, we've done it. It's really made sense now because people throughout the organization. When I say friends, I mean people who have come to our event. Um, it's always it always comes up. You know, sadly, it it always comes up. We're never short on on people to help. Right. Um, and it's usually always people from the brick town, you know, Tom's River area. So um, we've always stayed down in this area to be able to to support the you know individuals in the area. So it usually comes up within months after the last event. It usually we were getting approached already about new event, you know, new people to help. Gotcha. So how did you guys end up uh, getting together in this uh, in this particular uh, occasion? Well, one of our members, um, who is also our secretary, Rob Counselor. Mm-hmm. Um, had reached out to Friends Helping Friends, and we decided that this would be a great partnership and a great opportunity for both clubs. Okay, cool. I- ironically, a member was driving the, the, the bar cart on the golf course. Uh, of Parrot Head. One of the Parrot Head members was driving the golf cart, you know, the, uh, the bar that goes around. So ironically, it's a Parrot Head member that was doing that. So that's how they approached us and started asking us about the organizations. It was great. Very cool. So, all right. So, so, so now you guys are running events. And so your purpose of your party is that you're going to help friends, uh, helping friends. Correct. All right, cool. So, all right. So Denise, our, let, let's, let's, let's talk brass tacks here. Okay. okay. Uh, you're a big Jimmy Buffett fan. Absolutely. Okay. Since the seventies. Since the seventies. Okay. And, and you remember all of it, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, good. good. I had to okay. think a minute, but yeah, good. I do. 
That was perfect. <laughs> that you couldn't have planned that any better, by the way. So was was the Parrothead Club like like how how long is because the Parrothead Club is a you the the coastal Jersey or the coastal what's it called the coastal Jersey Parrot coastal Head Jersey Parrothead Club is one uh, is just one uh, branch one uh, uh, oh my god one uh, chapter of the overall Parrothead Club right? correct and how many chapters are there. There's chapters all over the world, and every November we meet down in Key West for a meeting, nice. of, the, for a meeting of the Minds. Okay. And it is just not a party weekend. It's a charitable weekend. Right. Uh, we raise a lot of money for, um, they have a Zonta walk. Um, it, it's it's a just- what, A what walk? Zonta. What, what is that? It's a breast cancer walk. Oh, okay. It's a breast cancer walk, and they have blood drives. Okay. Toys for Tots, and the different parrothead organizations from all over the world- they have their own charity, but all the money goes to Key West right? for that weekend. Gotcha. And we meet people from Germany, from Australia, um, Canada, right. Mexico, Puerto Rico. Right. Now, now, how did you get involved? I mean, what, like, so you were, a, so you were a Jimmy Buffett fan. Yes. Right. And, uh, and, and was there, a, when, how, how long has the Coastal Jersey Parrothead Club existed? We just celebrated our 13th year. Okay, good. So 13 years now, I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, but that's like 2003, right? Have you been there since the beginning? I've been there, um, it'll be 10 years. Okay. So the first three, you were, you were, you were out, right? I, Did you just stumble upon it or what happened? I just stumbled upon it. Yeah. I stumbled upon it and I joined. Okay. And, and so, okay, so there you go. So, so, and, 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 and so now 120, when you joined, do you remember how many members there were? I don't. Okay. Less though, right? Less. Yes. Okay, good. Yes. All right. Good. We get new members every month at our happy hour. I'm we, sh- we just got um, three new members uh, Tuesday. That's awesome. That's awesome. And there's dues and the whole thing. And how much money have you raised? Oh, I couldn't even imagine. Okay. Thousands and thousands and thousands. Gotcha. We just, um. Handed off a check to the Cancer Concern Center. Okay. Um, Tuesday for two thousand dollars, and that was through um, OPP, which is uh, <laughs> what? It's um, a, it's like a little mini mini meeting of the minds. Right. It's um, one particular flocking. It's called, and it's a weekend, and it's a charitable weekend, and it's just something that we do in between meeting of the minds. Yeah. I I heard, I happen to laugh at OPP because I was thinking of like a '90s rap song. I know, but it's okay. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I, you know, because I'm I down well. down with OPP. <laughs> it's a long story. Uh, all right, so Leon, how did you get involved in uh, Friends Helping Friends? Um, it was interesting. I, my neighbor uh, John Townsend, who started the organization uh, with Sean Vice and myself, um, the three of us were sitting around a fire pit one night, just talking about how we were gonna, you know, a way to help these these two families that were. Um, that were battling these mounting medical bills. John actually went and, you know, he said, let's start a golf outing. Let's have a golf outing. I didn't think a golf outing would raise enough money. Um, he went and did it. We, you know, all of a sudden we get in a ton of people that started to sign up and it was, it, it was starting to become an amazing thing. Um, then the wives got involved and said, we want to have a gift auction at right. night. This then turned into this monstrosity of, you know, uh, you, you want a hundred golfers. And now all of a sudden we got 400 people signing up for a gift auction at night. So, this 14 hour go, you know, um, really turned into a big event, but that's really how it started. We were just sitting around trying to figure out how, you know, how to start it. John turned around and said, I, you know, let's do a golf outing. The next day he signed up and said, we're in and we're going to be in the, on the hook for about 10 grand. We better get people to show up to this thing. So that's awesome. And so what do you do, uh, when you're not, uh, uh, helping friends? Um, in sales. Okay. Sales. <laughs> Lighting. Yep. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, listen, I mean, that's, uh, you know, it's, uh, listen, I always, th- I always say salespeople are the ones who start everything in this world. Cause at the end of the day, everything we do, uh, revolves around sales. Okay. Yep. When we get back, right. Uh, we need to talk about, uh, some of the events. Cause I know we've talked about, uh, we've talked about a golf outing. I know there's other events, right. I need to dive deeper into like these happy hours and uh, everything starts because you know I have to learn more. This is this sound. It sounds it sounds wild, uh, and it's uh, and everything starts with a pH. So we, we have to figure that out too. So there's a lot of stuff we have to learn after the break. Wake up with Jerry Grudden, Parrot Head Club, friends helping friends. Stay tuned. Get more. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin at our website, wobmam.com. 
News Talk Radio, WOBM, AM 1160 and 1310. Make a difference at the Jersey Shore. 732-505-1160. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. News Talk Radio, WOBM, AM 1160, 1310, and WOBMAM.com. Welcome back. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin, 622. We're here with Denise Bruschi from... Uh, the Parrot Head Club, and we are here with Leon Mawadia. He is uh, friends helping friends, uh, and uh, so uh, give me give me a sampling. So we got we have a we have a golf outing coming up at Wood Lake, and that is on June thirtieth. Yep. So that's uh, co branded. Uh, it's run by both of you together, mm-hmm. correct? Yes. Right, and that's your that, that uh, for a Parrot Head Club standpoint, that's the first time you guys are doing a golf outing. Yes. Um, and for friends helping friends, this is your eighth, correct? Correct. Yep. All right. So and and Leon, this in the past you'd run it all yourself, so this right. must be a welcome uh, uh, change it's, of pace. It's a refreshing change. All right. Good. <laughs> good. 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 So you're uh, it's so. So is this something that uh, that Denise, you guys would like to do in the future again? I mean, do you enjoy how, how are you feeling? How are you feeling about life uh, working with a golf outing? Oh, it's wonderful. It, it's an experience. You know, it's something that we've never done before. Right. And um, it's a learning process. But I, I think that uh, both of us working together, we're getting oh, yeah. a lot done. Yep. Right. How many golfers you have signed up so far? Uh, we have about 80, 80 to 90 golfers. Good. So what, what's yep. the target number? Many as we can possibly fit on well, the court. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's at Wood Lake now. Wood Lake, Wood Lake's the one that has the the third nine. No, no that's, that's Eagle Ridge. Ridge. Yep, I always Eagle get them Ridge. confused. We used to have it there. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, so really, so with with eighteen holes, I mean, really, you can't. Well, you could. I think it's staggering. I too. guess you could theoretically do probably a hundred and eight golfers or so at yeah. least, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, so cool. So that's that's a that's a good turnout for a golf outing mm-hmm. uh, so far. Uh, so. Uh, Denise, what other uh, events do you guys do, either on a monthly basis or you know, kind of annual? What what else do you kind of uh, throw the power of the Parrot Head Club behind? We participate in the Alzheimer's Walk. We okay. um, are partners with Clean Ocean Action. We clean the beach, uh, Stockton Avenue, twice a year, both in the spring and in the fall. Uh, Cancer Concern Center. We had partnered with them. They're one of our charities. We just um, presented them with a check at our happy hour. They're, I believe they're looking for a new home. Okay. Uh, breast cancer walk. Right, making strides making, along with ACS. Correct, correct. Um, Ronald McDonald House. Okay. Um, Love their fries. Gotcha. I'm sorry. <laughs> just, go ahead. Um, we are collecting um, the little coupons that are on top of the cereal boxes. Okay. For various schools in the area. Okay. All right. So, so walk me through this because I I hear the term um, happy hour. Yes. And it uh, you know it it has the desired effect on me because I smile and I'm <laughs> like that's good. So, what does a parrot head club uh, happy hour look like? Walk me through it. What would I expect? Okay. I'm gonna close my eyes here. Go ahead. Okay. You would expect <laughs> a lot of wonderful, caring, giving people. Okay. Um, it's uh, a social. Okay. It's the second Tuesday of the month at the Manalokan Road Pub. Okay. And each month um, there's a designated donation. Uh, we get a wish list. This month, uh, next month we're going to be doing um, Ronald McDonald's House. Okay. They give us a wish list. We put it up on our website and we deliver it to Ronald McDonald's House right. uh, or the other Charities and you collect money. Whatever people want to throw what in the throw people, in the collection bucket. Absolutely, we do both monetary and what's on the wish list. Right now, have you ever tracked the amount of dollars you collect early on in happy hour versus the amount of dollars you collect at the end of happy hour? Because I would think that as happy hour continues, it should be easier to uh, to collect more uh, more fu- more more money. I'll have to talk to the treasurer yeah, about that. I think it's an interesting. I, I've always felt that the that the the big pitch should come after folks have. I've absorbed about 45 minutes worth of happy hour. Our gift auction stays <laughs> yeah, open another hour exactly. or two because of it. You're yes, absolutely right. That's, yeah, that's <laughs> true. Just, uh, you know, give it some, some drop in some strategy here. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin style. Okay. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. When we get back, um, we are, this is what you've all been waiting for because we've never given uh, the Parrot Head Club a magic wand. And we're going to see what they do with it. it I'm sure it's going to be a much more colorful world. Uh, and uh, we're also going to give Leon and Friends Helping Friends one of those as well. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin back after this.
Coming up next, the latest from WOBM News, the Town Square New Jersey News Network and Fox News Radio. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Live from the Bob Levy Broadcast Center, overlooking the Toms River, it's time to get up, get out, do something. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. Be a part of the show, 732-505-1160. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Listen online at WOBMAM.com. Hey, welcome back. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin, 633, Friday, June 17, 64 degrees. Got to be 73 today. WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. News Talk Radio streaming live on the Radio Pop app and WOBMAM.com. 732-505-1160 to join the conversation. We are joined by Denise Bruschi from the Parrothead Club and Leon Mawadia from Friends Helping Friends. And we've come to my favorite part of the interview process. I'm not going to lie. I just kind of I feel like I just kind of got to get through the rest of it. Tell me about your organization. Tell me what, how you got there, yada, yada, yada. And then I get to give you my magic wand and say, do something cool. And uh, that's where the real fun begins. So who do we start with? Denise, I wasn't going to start with you anyway, Denise, because I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie, Leon, all due respect, I'm oh, way yeah. more interested in what Denise's answer oh, is yeah. than yours. So, uh, Leon, we are going to give you the magic wand, the uh, pixie dust, the fairy yeah. dust, the ability just to wiggle your nose and make something happen. Uh, Leon, what are you doing? <laughs> I would love to say that the organization goes on forever. You know, the, It would be great to not have to, you know, to, to have families not always have to come to us, but... The way the health insurance system works now, they all start to really, really it starts to mount up for them. Right. So um, to be able to get more people to come to our event, I mean, we've had over 500 people at some of the events. We stand up there, we look out at the, you know, at those families. They now know everybody's behind them, um, and that everybody's paying it forward. And it's really good to see how the community comes out for these families, and it helps them get through these hard times. Right. So Do you good. have a board set up in the whole nine mm-hmm. as well? Yep. Um, and uh, and how how uh, like you know. How many, uh, how many folks are kind of uh, volunteer for uh, friends helping friends? I'd say about twenty. You have about twenty, mm-hmm. and are you guys all like, uh, like friends? Yeah. I mean, it's just like a group. This <laughs> yeah. is like the core, exactly uh, the core group that's also probably doing a barbecue on a Sunday afternoon right. in July. Right, exactly. Right? That's cool. So <laughs> listen, I I think that's uh, listen. I think it's super cool because uh, you know a lot of us. Uh, you know, we have our core group of friends and we all get together and uh, it's cool to kind of parlay that into actually helping right. someone. Um, so uh, so uh, great job to you and uh, your posse uh, getting that done. <laughs> all right, Denise, I'm a little, I'm not. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> nice. Yeah, how long have you been queuing that up for, Jack? Oh, I was ready to yeah. use that one. I know. Listen, so for our listener friends who don't know, that was down with OPP, Naughty by Nature. And Naughty by Nature, by the way, just inducted into the uh, New Jersey Hall of Fame, right? Yes. Weren't they last year? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? What's the lead singer's name? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I come don't know. on. Uh, we'll, we'll look that up while we're uh, while we're doing that. Okay. Uh, but we but we're not talking naughty by nature. We're talking Jimmy Buffett. There's a small difference, right? Can you play Cheeseburger in Paradise for us instead, or something like that? Uh, Denise, what are you doing with the magic wand? Uh, my magic wand is um, I just want people to know that we don't sit around all day in Hawaiian shirts drinking margaritas. <laughs> we're a charitable organization. We're always looking to help the environment. Um, different charities, different organizations that need our help. We've raised so much money, um, Alzheimer's, breast cancer, Wounded Warrior. We do Toys for Tots, Vet Dog, Semper Fido, Cancer Concern Center. The list is so long. We help both local and national organizations. And that's that's my wish. That's my magic wand. People look at us as, oh, you're a parrot head? Oh, what do you do, sit around drinking margaritas all day in Hawaiian shirts? No, we don't. We're always out there helping. We're the first ones to help if we can. Why? So, so okay. So let me let's 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 dig in for a second. All right. Why can't you just embrace that and say yes? That's what we do. Oh, by the way, we've also raised X amount of dollars for X amount of charities. So uh, you and your friends all go out drinking and all go hang out and all go have fun on the weekends. We just happen to do it. Uh, we just happen to do it while we're doing it for a good cause. You know what I mean? Because you do. do. Let's let's be fair. We you like to have fun. You guys like it. It started. I mean, part of it was as a social 
as a social event, right? I mean, there's this unifying factor here, which is, you know, the whole Jimmy Buffett vibe and the whole, you said, what kind of rock is it? It's uh, it's trop rock, trop rock, right? That's a whole like vibe going on. It's there, a right? lifestyle. Like I'm picturing like Bahama breeze, but instead of in a parking lot, it's like, you know, there's actually like uh, water around, you know? So, uh, and that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that, but the, you know, just like I see a lot of similarities because Leon and his folks, you know, they do the same thing. Right. Right. It's, you know, they just happen to they just happen to be, you know, they do it a little differently, probably with less Hawaiian shirts. True. Not necessarily. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to get off my soapbox now. All right. Uh, uh, let me give you a minute or two to kind of just uh, to wrap up here. So I know we also have uh, spots still open for the golf outing, which is uh, June 30th at Woodlake. Uh, so take it away. Who's uh, yeah, Leon? Go ahead. Why don't you uh, why don't you wrap up uh, your end of, uh, of the talk today? Yeah, um, you can register at uh, friendshelpingfriendsnj.com. Uh, there's still opportunities to sponsor, to donate. Uh, you can donate as little as $25. You can sponsor, you know, holes, everything. Um, and also we have spots, you know, ready for golf. So, um, again, June 30th, it's going to be a great day out at Woodlake Country Club. And uh, then we'll have more events coming up in October. We'll have a big gala gift auction with a couple hundred of you know, a couple hundred yeah. gifts. It's a, it's a great night. So, honestly, I mean, the wives, when they do their thing, they raise more money, right? Oh, yeah. Because it's a lot. It's phenomenal. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. Really <laughs> that was good, though, how you got them engaged. And then, yeah, so you start with, like, well, I'm just going golf with my buddies and we're going to raise exactly. money for a cause. And next exactly. thing you know, right the in. women are involved and you're like, all I'm right, sales. Good. I'm good. Sales. Yeah, yeah, you got them right yeah. in. Yeah. Plus, it keeps them busy for a couple months and they, they're out here, you know. They, anyway. Except when there's 200 gifts in my house. Oh, that gets a little crazy. No. That gets oh, a little I have one for you. That gets a little crazy. All right, Denise, uh, talk to me. Parrothead Club, where do I learn more? Uh, what Anything else going on that I should know about? Wrap it up for me. Bring us home. Okay, you can go to our website, which is cjphc.org. We meet the second Tuesday of every month at the Manilokan Road Pub in Manilokan. Just come out, meet us, see what we're all about, and join. That's uh, Listen, that's that's it, right? Yeah, we're, we're a great organization. What does it cost to join? It's a 25 is single. And a year. That's a year. It's a year. Okay. And it's 50. Uh, I'm sorry. 40. 40. It's 40. 40, 40 for a family. Trying to raise a couple <laughs> extra shekels. Nice job, Denise. 40 for a family. Well, okay, cool. So listen, uh, I am, uh, you know, this is actually, it's very interesting because you have Parrothead Club here. You have Friends Helping Friends. And um, it's actually very interesting because it, you're not seeing it on the radio, but uh, Friends Helping Friends uh, professional on his way up to work right after this in the city, right? Or, yeah. you know, North Jersey, right? And that's that's friends helping friends, right? So there you got one, that section over here. Then you got the Parrothead Club. And Denise, like, brought me a lay, and she's, like, got, like, the the – the flip flops on and like ready for ready for summer, <laughs> right? But at the end of the day, two organizations kind of doing the same type of thing, right? Which is really just about a bunch of friends and people that share common interests, uh, uh, getting up, getting out, and doing something and trying to raise money for great causes. So thank you very much to both of you for thank everything you. you're Thanks. doing. And uh, I had fun, and uh, I can't wait to get to the next happy hour. Wake <laughs> up with Jeremy Grunin back after this.